Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to use Word Cradle's free novel writing software. So to make an account, you just need to add in this information. It's super easy. I just created one, so I'm going to go to it. So this is the home page on our website. And if you scroll down, you can see the leaderboard. And so the leaderboard are the, is like filled with the people who've written the most and who've met the most deadlines. You can have a bronze star or a silver star. Um, this is your level and you have points. You can also just be ranked among your pals. I just made a new pal, January, who has written a lot more than me because she's been here longer. And it will kind of motivate you to have a competition with your friends to see who can write more and to motivate yourself. So I just created a project. The new projects that you create will go down here. You can click on it. So, um, so first off, let's start out by creating a new character. Because I like to start by creating characters when I write stories. So we have one, his name is Billy, and we're gonna create a new one. This is gonna be Joe. And he looks like this. My internet is super slow. Yay. So now I'm going to click on Joe and I can edit a character and add in more information about him. I can write more in his biography. I can say his age is four and I can also display his personality if I want. Save character. In addition to that, I can quiz my character. And you can, it's like an interview to help you better understand them and how they would act so that when they're having a dialogue with another character, they sound like their own people and you know how, what they'd say and what they're going to do. So I'm going to go back to this project. Um, and the plot lines is another helpful tool you can use. These are just some suggestions that we have if you're having issues coming up with um, what you want your plot line to be or if you just need a little bit of inspiration. You can just write down random notes or you can keep, I don't, yeah, you can keep track of your research here too, whatever you want. Um, this is a, this is your timeline for your story. You can say, um, save. I can save my um, timeline. And so, sorry, <laughs> we're going to go back to the project. The third really helpful tool we have is the brainstorm. Basically, you can do whatever you want here. It's a great place to store your research. You can write down random stuff. You can keep track of items you have in your book, like a magical sword. And just, oh, like these are the characters that have like the romance um you can rearrange them and you can create new cards and you can also just create a brainstorm all by itself with new research that you've made um if you don't really know what you want to use your project for just any random ideas you have you can name this brainstorm Random. Cool. So, and now when you want to get to writing, I'm going to create, well, first I want to reset my deadline. I'm going to say my goal is 10 words and I want to get this done within the hour. So I'm going to create a new chapter. I'm going to say it's going to be titled Friends. And I'm going to say 
um, uh, <laughs> just random stuff. Cool. Save. And so now that I've done that, I just uh, reached my next goal. So, and I earned 100 deadlines points for doing that. And now I can set a new goal. I'm going to set it for 100 words within the next hour this time. Awesome. So these are the basic writing features. And in addition to that, well, these are the amount of points that you've earned so far with your deadlines. And everyone has a character, I mean, a user profile. You can have friends. Um, I'm friends with January and you can search for other users to become friends with here. This is your profile, so you have your, the projects you created, the projects you finished, characters created, brainstorms. Um, people can't see your stories or characters or anything right now, so don't need, you don't need to worry, even your friends. Um, so just, and these are also the achievements that you've earned and you kind of earn them randomly when you accomplish little things. And we also have places where you can message each other. So my friends can message me here. And if people invite me to be their pal, um, it'll show up right there. And yeah, that basically sums it up. So go and check out WordCrydle if you're looking for writing software to use. Thank you.